The statement followed the recent fishing bribery revelations, also referred to as the fish rod scandal, which resulted in the resignation of Fisheries Minister Bernard Esau and Justice Minister Saki Shangala. Sebab says the LPM wants all those suspected to have taken part in this scandal to be investigated thoroughly and be brought to book. This includes the alleged close relationship between Namanje and some of the accused in the scam. The first thing is that this is a Namanje because Esau mentioned him, the former minister now, the corrupt chap, mentioned him that they can work through Caesar Namanje. So we are appealing to the law society of Namibia to take drastic actions, maybe perhaps to freeze the accounts of uh, Caesar Namanje, his trust fund, and then there can be a complete audit of his uh, trust fund. Because there may be good reasons that money laundering took place through uh, his, his company. And in the meantime, we also recommend that Caesar Namanje must never be appointed as any acting High Court judge until this story is resolved. Namanje, in a telephonic interview, told the NBC that he will not comment on what he termed political issues, adding that he had done nothing wrong and therefore would not comment nor elaborate on the issue. LPM also recommended that cabinet members and parliamentarians be excluded from benefiting from natural resources, such as fishing quarters. The party also wants the Director General of the Anti-Corruption Commission, Paulus Noah, to step down, alleging he has made no major corruption arrest since his appointment in the position. The party also raised concern over the increased incidence of tribalism in the Namibian politics, saying this emerging trend could lead to civil war if not controlled. Julana Fuka, NBC News, Ventuk.